Hi, my name is Earl Guillory, and I'm a Senior Facilities Maintenance Technician here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. As a maintenance technician, my jobs are on-demand maintenance, things like changing light bulbs. How'd you like to change a light bulb out here? Too hot, too cold, clog sinks, things of that nature. Also, preventive maintenance on a lot of the systems, and then safety, security, and compliance checks that have to be performed throughout the building as well. On top of that, the training experience that is necessary for this job is usually a hard technical trade in at least one area, HVAC, plumbing, electrical. It helps to be more flexible with maybe one or two different trades under your belt, so to speak. Uh, the necessary skills to be successful in this job, number one, Number one at the top of the list is being mechanically inclined. You also have to be a good problem solver. And not only that, customer service skills are a definite must. We have to communicate with people from all walks of life living here as blue collar technicians and working in a white collar world. So it's sort of like you have to be a bit of an amphibian. You have to be very adaptive and you have to have excellent communication skills. What is my average work day like? Well, normally it starts out with a meeting in the morning We'll discuss safety subjects and then things that came up overnight or over the weekend that need to be addressed. On-demand repairs are usually assigned at this time and preventive maintenance is scheduled on a monthly basis. So as a technician, we take the initiative to make sure that it's completed by month's end. Also, there's engineer duties that occur on a frequent basis. So we have to do a walk around inspection of the facilities to a lot of different mechanical areas and make sure that things are safe and that they are running and operational. Uh, if you ask what the hardest part of this job is, I would say that it'd have to be dealing with stereotypes of the trades. A lot of people think that unless you're sitting behind a desk and pushing a pencil, that you're a failure in life. That's actually far from the truth. Um, outside of that, the other one I'd have to say is probably, oh, well, you're a jack of all trades. No, not necessarily. I'm a trained plumber and HVAC technician. Those are my two primary skills. Don't ask me to swing a hammer. It may not be very pretty. We have uh, carpenters for that, and they are excellent at what they do. That is also an excellent career field as well. The most enjoyable part of this job, I'd have to say, is the gratification of seeing a job done something that is physical that you put your hands on and restored to operating condition. It's one of the most gratifying things about the job and why a lot of us are in the trades, because we can point to something that we did and say, hey, this is something lasting. If we look at the availability of any of the construction and skilled trades and how they're going to grow, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics has actually projected growth in all of those fields these trades are growing and there's not enough people to fill the trades as older technicians are, require, uh, are retiring. So there is a huge demand that's going to be coming up in years to replace those skilled trades people in those. If I had to say similar jobs in the market to what we do here at the Fed in the maintenance department, you're looking at HVAC technician, plumber, pipe fitter, carpenter, electrician. All of these trades can get you into either construction or repair and service work, and they're only going to grow. Along with that, we also have telecom jobs and low voltage technicians that are also in high demand. There's a lot of different job specialties in this discipline, so it's basically a ground floor once you learn a trade. Where do you want to go with it and how successful do you want to be?